Tonight's Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Modelo Group for those with a fighting spirit. Kelvin Castellum, 5'9", Israel Adesanya is 6'4", the reach advantage. If my math is right, eight and a half inches for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. All right, now for the official introductions for the co-headliner, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this UFC championship bout is sanctioned by the Georgia Athletic Commission. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon side are Mike Bell, Anthony Maness, and Ken Coffey. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Mark Goddard. And now, this fight is five rounds for the interim UFC Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A freestyle fighter holding an undefeated professional record. 16 wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 183 pounds. Fighting out of Auckland, New Zealand, by way of Lagos, Nigeria, presenting the number five ranked middleweight contender in the world, Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record, 16 wins, 3 losses, 1 no contest, he stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds, fighting out of Yuma, Arizona, by way of Huntington Beach, California, presenting the ultimate fighter, season 17 winner, at the number 4 ranked UFC middleweight contender in the world, Kelvin Gastelum! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mark Garner. Israel Kelvin, you know exactly what I expect. I need you to fight hard, fight clean. When I say stop, please stop. If you want to touch gloves, now's the time. God bless. Oh man, here we go. Kelvin Gastelum. Oh. <laughs> Israel on so excited. both fighting for a piece of UFC gold for the first time in their respective careers. Don't get a whole lot bigger or better than this. Here we go. Here we go is right. Tonight's fight clock is brought to you by Modelo Brood for those with a fighting spirit. With the difference in height, Gaslam is going to have to go through some stuff to close the distance on Israel. Right here in this range, though, is not safe for him. Told us he's got to overwhelm him. Certainly, to your point, DC can't stay at distance. It's interesting because Israel fights differently as a mixed martial arts fighter than he did as a kickboxer in terms of his stance selection. And he almost fights like he's in a karate movie sometimes. He does things differently. But he's constantly learning and adding to his arsenal. And one of the more interesting things he said, he said, I'm a better version of me than I was when I fought Anderson Silva. And that was just a few months ago. Right? Yeah. I mean, you see guys fighting like that now. Henry Cejudo, since he's become so successful in that type of stance. Hard kick to the body by the last style bender. Elusive. He yep. avoids the shots by Gaslam. That left hook landed a little bit by Gaslam there. As he blew, Kelvin is throwing that right hand, and the left hook is coming behind it because he knows Israel's going to dip off to that side, I guess. Both guys just so cool and collected. So good under pressure. Yeah. Gasoline whiffs on the right hand, able to land to the body. They both look so relaxed in here. If you've never been to a UFC live event, there is an indescribable tension when there is a belt on the line. Yes. Both fighters with five-round experience. Adesanya had an epic performance in the main event against Brad Tavares. Gastelum, a main event at altitude against Neil Magny in Mexico. Oh, and he for Gastelum. And Adesanya retreats. 
That's that left hook that Gaslam's throwing off with that right hand. He must have seen it in the video. Adesanya's dipping on that side. He has some serious power in that left hand. Oh, and he goes to the body, too. And that's as much adversity that we've seen Adesanya have to this point in his career. Certainly in a striking realm. Yeah, he's got he's been taking some big deep breaths. His mouth's open a little bit. He got stung. Gaslam is throwing some heat. He's throwing heat. Gaslam is throwing some heat. And he blocked that left high kick. That left hand just grazed the chin, that last one he threw. Under two minutes here to go in round one. We have to remember that Kelvin Gastelum is trained by one of the best striking coaches in the yes. world, and Rafael Cordero. Yes. And Rafael has formulated a plan to deal with the style and reach of Adesanya. Gastelum almost squares up when he starts to enter. Watch, he starts to square, move his, his, his head. Throws that right hand as a feeder, really trying to land the left. Edison is not committing to any of his techniques right now. Woo! Kelvin is that, that left hand is a bomb. Adesanya continues to move that head an inch out of Ooh. harm's way. One minute to go, round one. Well, what we've learned is that Kelvin Gastelum is very capable of knocking Adesanya. All right. He connected with some serious bombs, and Adesanya knows that now too. He also knows that Kelvin is drawn first blood. Right. And by and large, Adesanya's trying to touch you. Gasolin's trying to kill you with everything he throws. Gasolin with some feints here on the feet. And this has all been striking. We have yep. to remember that if there's an advantage that we expected from Kelvin, it would be in his grappling. Yes. We haven't seen any of that yet. Israel's just out here making reads, though. He sees Kanza starting to get a little bit closer on some of his shots now, and he's committing to him again. Kelvin touched him with that right hand, though. He touched him with a lead right hook. The hand speed of Kelvin Gaslam is not to be underestimated. No. He's very fast. Right here, look at this. Boom! Ooh. Right hand. Left hook follows. Drops at Asanya. I mean, that's a knockdown. I mean, that's a knockdown. He caught him right on the chin. He caught him on the edge of it. Imagine if that thing lands clean. Gaslam possesses some crazy power. And he has a giant pen. That guy can take a tremendous <laughs> yep. punch. It's all coming from the right side. So he's worried about the right side, but now we've got to whip the lift, yeah? yeah. And then bury the target. Like a tough one, then. The unauthorized reproduction or distribution of this copyright work is illegal and punishable under law. UFC 236 Holloway versus Poirier 2. Kelvin Gastelum with a knockdown in round one. His knockdown ratio is a UFC middleweight now seven nil. And that first round knockdown of Israel Adesanya, the sixth consecutive opponent that Kelvin Gastelum has knocked down. Good kick to the body by Israel. His coaches call for that. They say, you only threw one body kick, we want more. Another. Quick left hand from Adesanya. He talked a lot about working the body of Gasolin, which he described as soft. Lands a right kick there. That was that one landed. That was clean. Calvin with a whipping left hand to the body. Gaslam has a big gas tank, too. As big as that head is, he's got a big <laughs> gas yep. tank, man. 
he does, especially at 85, when he's not compromising his body to make the weight. Lands the left hand there over the top. He's been in a lot of UFC main events. You mentioned Magny, Weidman, Bisping. Nice jab by Kelvin. And while Gaslam did acknowledge this as the toughest fight of his career, when you've been in there with the likes of Tim Kennedy, Chris Weidman, Jacques Lee Souza. He fought the best, man. Not going to be intimidated. And again, at only 27 years of age, and the mixed martial arts experience difference is really off the charts. That head kick partially oh, blocked. Beautiful jab. At a sign you start to get off a little bit more now, but Gaslam lands that big right jab. And don't think that's a normal jab. That's a power jab. The intent on that one is to hurt you. Adesanya touched Gaslam there with the left hand. Woo! Adesanya born in Nigeria, trying to bring New Zealand a UFC championship. Pressure by Kelvin. It's almost like Israel can't engage him because Kelvin's so powerful. Yeah. He has to evade Stan's face. And Kelvin is making reads of Israel's head movement. And he's forcing Israel to move, and he's not throwing the punches, and he's looking to read. So some adversity now for Kelvin Gaslam. Yep. Two minutes big, to go, round two. Big right hand by Adesanya, perfectly placed. Big reset from Gaslam. Inside leg kick. Adesanya finding that range now. Right before Gaslam got hit, he stumbled on a misstep. So it put him out of position, and Israel landed. Watch this. He stumbles. Out of position, Israel landing. You cannot make a mistake with a striker that's as sharp as Israel Adesanya. There's no room for error. Gaslam getting a little bit sloppy here. 90 seconds to go in the round. Oh, oh beautiful. Oh, Adesanya's getting going now. Ooh. You can't be reckless. If you're Gaslam, you can't be reckless. Adesanya will snipe you. Yeah, he can't get careless, and he can't overcommit. Oh, oh, beautiful. He stung him. That lead right hand is nasty. It's so nasty, and it's not telegraphed at all, and it's coming from low. It's yep. hard to read. No wind-up, nothing. Oh! Oh, Calvin's oh, in real trouble. Real trouble. And look at him, instead of taking a step, he's still trying to go forward. He's, he's going to get himself knocked out. He got to take a moment. He's going to get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. That was a beautiful elbow by Adesanya. But that's the thing about his arsenal. It's so deep. He can do so many things. Question mark kick, just barely blocked. Ooh. And he lands the left hand. Adesanya appeared to eat that pretty well. Look at this. There's the grappling. Good take Ooh. Down defense. Oh, and he tagged him. But if I'm gassing him, I'm still shooting. I'm just making him defend takedown after takedown. Try to wear on him. Wow. Wow, indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look at some of this. And here's a body kick early on in the fight. Left hand to the body by Kelvin. There's a beautiful jab by Kelvin. Look how it snaps the head back. Of Adesanya. And there's that spinning back elbow. I'd like to see the right hand that dropped him. We didn't see that in the replay. I want you to punch him and come back and breathe and come back. I don't want you to stop in front of him. Don't stop in front of him. Touch him and come back, breathe and come back. You get it? He just touched you because you stopped. 
If you don't stop, you can't touch you. It's not going to be easy to be a champion. You got to be a champion. You got to bounce. Stop. 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 Here's the oh, shot that dropped him. Bink right on the chin. Yep. Round three is brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of UFC. Shout what out to Black, and Black for the use of the word bink. <laughs> Here we go. Things are getting interesting, folks. We'll see how Kelvin Gastelum responds here. He takes the center of the octagon. He is in green. Israel Adesanya is in black. Third round, and both of them have been down. Woo. Adesanya starting to find his groove now. And now you see Kelvin with a different style, that up on the feet, light on his feet style. We've seen that many times in the past from him before. And I believe he fights better when he fights like that. What he can't do is just stay on the edge, let Adesanya dictate. Early in the fight, he was the one dictating the engagements. Second round, Israel dictated everything. And he had all that success because of it. Well, in DC, you can speak to being on the wrong end of a reach situation. Yeah. When you're giving up eight and a half inches, you've got to be precise. you got to just get close, man. Kelvin keeps his hands way low. He's got great vision. When Israel throws that right hand, he's moving out just a little bit of the way. But it's when it lands, when he mistimes it a little bit, is when he's getting really stung. Yeah, both guys are keeping their hands very low in this fight. A lot of feints here from Gastelum. He eats the body kick from Adesanya. All these subtle shifts in footwork. Just like Joe said, he's got an encyclopedia of knowledge in terms of striking. And right now, he's got Kelvin just guessing. And Kelvin's got to be careful as he engages like that. That that spinning elbow is there for him. Oh, beautiful stab. Kelvin, oh, high kick. Wow. Tremendous exchange on both sides. Under three minutes here, round three. Gaston's doing what Coach Cordero said. He said, don't stop in front of him. He's touching you because you're stopping, Kelvin. Don't stop in front of him. Head strike numbers, slight advantage for the last dial bender, 21 to 19. Adds to that total there. Oh! Nice knee to the body there by Adesanya. That was a nice right hand. I mean, those right hands are landing so clean for Israel. Yeah, they're just so crisp. The timing. Look at that. You cannot... Against a good striker like that, you can't be looping punches. You gotta be down the middle, just like him. Gaslam's looping too much, and look at that. Now he's out of position, and Adesanya's countering. Yeah, he's having a hard time with his reach. Gaslam down to 29% in terms of these strikes landed. Good head movement from Gaslam and then lands a shot of his own. When he is able to evade and he's in position to counter. He's got to just let everything go, like right here. Good this entry. Is big. That's big. He gets the takedown. Beautiful. Oh, but he did a good job of keeping Edesanya from getting to the fence with his back. Oh, nice push off by Israel. And that is big for Israel on Adesanya. Gaston unable to do much with that takedown. Woo. The upper body defensive movement from Adesanya just narrowly evading these shots from Gaston. And hands so low too, John. It's so dangerous because you're one inch away from getting slept, but he's so comfortable and confident in there. 
And Gaston doing the same thing. Kelvin's punches seem more labored and slower towards the end of this round. That was the first takedown landed for Gaslam since November 2015 against Neil Magny. Hasn't needed to lean on the offensive wrestling. But Gaslam's doing okay in this round. He's not a wide. He's not getting washed out. This is a good round to fight. Him. Very close. Championship rounds beckon. Beautiful, beautiful round. Beautiful round as well. You gotta wipe him down, right? Where's the thing? Yeah. 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 There's water in your hand. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want more punches. Hey man, any chance to do rounds? You could be down 2 1, you could be up 2 1. You gotta win these last two rounds. Tá bom, stay good, stay good. Stay good, stay good. You gotta keep on trying to take him down. Let's keep together till you can see the hands. No respect here. Don't respect him. Keep your hands up, but don't respect him. Let's move. I need you to dry him off and they got water on the floor too. Dry him off on the front and back. Down to the final 10 minutes, Israel Adesanya and Kelvin Gastelum. One man becomes the UFC interim middleweight champion and sets up a date later in 2019 with the undisputed king of the 85ers, the Reaper Robert Whitaker. Round four is upon us. Rafael Cordero looking for more volume out of his pupil, Kelvin Gastelum. Kelvin picking up the pace. He has to. That slow pace where it just trade technique for technique is too slow. Israel will always win that. He's got to just make it ugly, make it dirty. And then he can get it tight to go attack some takedowns. This is the type of fight he needs to make it. Adesanya's takedown defense near 90%. It's held up tonight. Oh, beautiful knee to the body. Keep it close, Israel. Keep it close. Both of you. Significant strikes landed. 56 out of Sonya, 35 for Gastelum. Oh! Woo! Gastelum didn't even flinch. He ducked his head into that one. He got hit on the top of the head instead of the chin. Nice jab by Gastelum. Some swelling around that left eye for Adesanya. Just rolls with the punches to prevent unnecessary damage. Cock Gastelum there on the way in. Kelvin just keeps coming up short. Great movement by Adesanya. Calvin's in on him in the clinch. He has certainly been the busier offensive fighter here through two and a half minutes in round four. Gaslam fighting with a lot of pressure right now. Good inside low kick by Gaslam. A lot of forward pressure in round four. Looks like Adesanya's now cut, I yeah, believe. I believe so, at the right eye. Yeah. That forward pressure is going to be very important for Gaslam in these last couple rounds. He's catching him on the end of these, but he is yeah, touching he is. him. He's oh. Oh. Ooh. And he caught him there. Oh. Oh. oh! Nice straight right from Adesanya. Wow, what a fight! 
What a fight. <laughs> Both landing, too. Gaston has landed a lot of jabs. That aside, he's landed some really good right hands. This is a great fight. Nice inside leg kick by Israel. Gastelum partially lands that left hand. You see he's advanced 37% of the time in this fourth round. Yeah, he does better inside the exchanges because when he's on the outside, his attack is just a little bit too predictable. It's a, a looping right yes. hand to set it up and then a left hand. Oh, oh nice stung switch. Him. Yes, stung nice jab by Izzy. See, in these wild exchanges, that's when Kelvin's at his best. Yes, he's doing well there. Oh, he goes high. Look at that. Oh. That oh, oh, he's he's He hurt him. He hurt him. Side of the he's in trouble. He is in trouble. Oh, man, he's hurt. Gaston needs to pour it on. Instead, he chooses to change levels. He had him hurt. I think he's still got him hurt. Now Adesanya throws some offense. Oh! Under 30 seconds here, round four. Adesanya really starting to wear it, swelling in the lips under both eyes. Oh, I uh, tried to look down and kick high with that question mark kick. Oh, caught him again. Israel may be getting tired. If Adesanya won the first round, I feel like this may be Gaston's round. It could be 2-2 two, two going into the fifth. Wow. 20 minutes down. Wow. And Gaston raises his hands. That is the most hurt we've ever seen Israel Adesanya for sure to fight. The most adversity he's ever felt. He's been hurt twice this fight. Yes. It's the power killing Gaston. But really hurt in that round. Yes, he's hurt bad. Right here, you see Kelvin Gaston pursuing the jab, that little hook. Straight left, barely misses, but he's touching Israel. Right here again, look at the style bender. Boom, right hand down the middle. Then again, barely missing. Gaston, just look at this exchange by these two men. Head kick coming, boom, land right on the side of the neck. And Asanya's hurt very badly. That is crazy. Gaston's pursuing, 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 straight that. left boom. down the pipe. I mean, what a round of fighting. Gaslam fired up, feeling good, heads into round five. We may be 2-2, two, two, boys. Wow, it all comes down to this. The final five minutes to determine the UFC's interim middleweight Ooh. champion. Both guys known for having tremendous cardio and both ready to go here to try to secure a UFC title. Coach Cardero was so animated in between rounds, telling him, now go get this belt champ. Israel's going to have to stop him from pressuring him early in this round. He's got to take the momentum back from Kelvin Gaslam. The yes. addition of the kicks, particularly that high kick, was a real shocker yeah. for Kelvin. I mean, he's been throwing those low kicks, but landed on the neck of Israel Adesanya, with that being a changing moment in this fight. Handy work there from Adesanya. But huge volume from Gastelum in round four. Oh, oh, nice front kick to the face by Israel. Oh, left hand landed. Kelvin Gastelum takes a punch as good as any man yep. that ever lived. Because he rolls it a little bit, right? It barely hits him. It doesn't hit him clean. Both of them. They don't land clean on each other. These guys have tremendous head movement. Everything's skimming them instead of landing straight on. Oh! Huge right for Adesanya. Adesanya with a guillotine. Gaslam spins out of it. Oh, he ran the position he's on top. This is good for Kelvin. Adesanya looking to try to set up a triangle. Very slippery. He's got to use it to sweep. Oh! Just over 
over three minutes now to go. Wow, what a fight. Get the bonus checks ready. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. Adesanya what is showing championship hard right now. Both of these gentlemen are putting kick. it on the line. Oh, man. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. But Israel's been more active this round. He's done exactly what he needed to do. Took the momentum back now. Now the Ernest is on Gaslam to try to build back in this last two and a half minutes. Beautiful right. Oh, oh he hurt him. He stuck him. Gaslam's hurt. He snapped his neck back with that one. So a huge response from the Kiwi here in this fifth and final round. He can't miss with that right hand. Oh, oh. Calvin's in real trouble. He's in real trouble. He keeps getting stung with that right hand. Yep. And now Stylebender's got his number. Castle, chasing. Kelvin pressures him. Well, this is how you want to go about winning a UFC title. This is going to be hugely satisfying for whoever has their hand raised if we get there. Under 90 seconds now to go. Oh! Adesanya has really fought well in his fifth round. Yeah, he's risen to the occasion. Yep. Kelvin's a step behind right now in round five. Oh my goodness. Huge try. Oh. Back out for Adesanya now. He's fighting as he was earlier. He stood on the edge, and Adesanya started to piece him up. How about the hearts beating inside these two gentlemen? Incredible. Big elbows there by Adesanya. Big round by Israel Adesanya. When you're chasing the championship, and it's round five, this is how you gotta fight. We have had some epic middleweight title fights, and another one here. Oh! Kelvin's in trouble. He's in real trouble. We might get a stoppage here. Big elbow from Adesanya. Oh, man, what a performance by Adesanya. What a performance by Gaslam. Gaslam's exhausted. He's very hurt. He's barely there anymore. Oh my God, the spray of blood. Oh, they can stop this fight. Final 10 seconds. That's it. Gastelum goes down. Stop it. Kevin's still fighting. Injury is trying to finish water. Wow. Wow. One of the greatest title fights you will see. Israel Adesanya and Kelvin Gastelum go the 25-minute distance. Just incredible. The heart of Kelvin Gastelum, the will to keep going, and he's exhausted and battered. And then Israel Adesanya rising to the occasion in the fifth and final round, putting it together. What a fight. My goodness. When you're going into the fifth round of a tight fight, Maybe a 10-8 to finish. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. what a way to finish a fight uh, for and sure try to a earn a championship. For sure a 10-8. In this, with the, the new rules, for oh, sure yeah. that's oh, a 10-8. Yeah. You don't even have to largely dominate the round under the new scoring. Let's get to the fight replay brought to you by Nemiroff, bold character since 1872. My goodness, here we go, fifth round. Boom! Right hand. Adesanya's accuracy and precision. And how about this? They go to the ground, Adesanya throws up a triangle. Almost cinches it. If it wasn't so sweaty and slippery, and if Kelvin didn't have such good defense. Bing! Look at that left hand. Bing! Over the top. I mean, this could be a 10-7 round, folks. This could be the clincher, and this could be what wins Adesanya the title. His ability to stay accurate and technical in the fifth and final round. And what heart by Calvin Gastelum. Amazing. Just incredible. So much respect for these athletes tonight as they give us one for the ages. 
The official decision is brought to you by Metro by T-Mobile. Catch all the action with Metro by T-Mobile. Get knockout coverage on a network that rivals the big guys for way less. With the official decision, here now is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest. 48, 46, for the winner, by unanimous decision, and new interim USC middleweight champion of the world, Israel, the last defender, Adesanya. Ladies and gentlemen, the last style bender and the new interim UFC middleweight champion of the world. How does it feel and how does it look? Well, I always envision these things, but I never, I was ready for war. I told y'all, I wanted to take him out, but I was ready for war because he's Mexicano. Hold on in, give it up for Kelvin, let's go. Well, fuck. People, they talk shit, man. Has he been tested? He ain't ready for this. I started this fight with adversity, and like a champion, like you say, be the, the hero in your own story. By the end of my documentary, this place gonna be lit. Fuck. First of all, I'm the man, but I gotta say, there's someone who's more of a man than me. Huge, come here, step up. I've planned this for so long. I wanna say, without him, my, my career wouldn't be where it is. Yo. Congratulations to both of you. You can stand. I, I hope this makes up for all the times I've been late. <laughs> Israel, this was a very close fight. It was a very much a back and forth fight, but you rose to the occasion in that fifth round. What was going on in your mind before the fifth round started? Where did you feel you were in the scorecards? And what were you thinking? I don't think about scorecards. All I need is one round. I kept on saying in my native tongue of Yoruba, Ayabiekun, because I got a, a tattoo of Nigeria with a lion inside of my chest, and that's heart of a lion. Ayabiekun, Ayabiekun, I was willing to die. We've lost, team, we've, we've lost teammates to this game. They're not with us anymore. Wilman, uh, VDK, honestly, but I knew I was willing to give it all and leave it all in there. And I said, let's go. But like I said, he's a Mexican warrior, but hey, I got that Mexicano with me too. Let's take a look at the fifth and final round. Israel, some beautiful handiwork. You dropped him over and over again. His heart was incredible because you had him battered, and we even thought the fight was going to be stopped within the last couple of seconds. I thought so, too. That would have been a cool ending, but I wasn't able to secure the position like I wanted to, and he kept on moving around. He was slippery. But, you know, like I said, I got I'm, a, I'm the champion. Let's go. You were one of the most exciting contenders. Now you are one of the most exciting champions. It was an honor to call your fight, sir. And I can't wait to see you fight for the undisputed title. Hey, ATL, thank you for having me. It's been cool. It's been lit. Put it down for the A. The last